Hi, I'm Harper. Ciao, I'm Eva. Tomorrow is Columbus Day. Now, Columbus Day has become quite the controversial holiday here in America. But if you're a foodie, there's one thing about this day that is worth celebrating. And that is the creation of Italian food as we know it. A lot of our dishes in Italy now are based on ingredients that before Cristoforo Colombo we didn't have. So we can say that Cristoforo Colombo not just discovered America, but also he made a big revolution on our food. In other words, you're welcome, Italy. <laughs> As we were researching this, uh, some of the vegetables that we found out are New World vegetables uh, actually surprised even me. And it was really amazing to see how much of Italian cuisine is dependent upon New World ingredients. So today we thought we would prepare a few classic Italian dishes that simply didn't and couldn't have existed before Columbus. So Ava, are you ready to show our viewers what Italy owes to America for our wonderful ingredients? You owe us to show you how to use this product. <laughs> So Ava, what do we have here? This is one of the typical uh, Calabrian dish, is what we call uh, pipi e patati, which means, uh, why are you laughing? Nothing, no reason. This is the name, pipi e patati. Pipi is the peppers, the bell peppers. Patati is the potatoes. Now this dish, is particularly new world friendly because everything in it except the olive oil and the salt i think comes from the americas i would like to say that the olive oil makes the difference <laughs> without cristoforo colombo this couldn't exist we've got potatoes potatoes and peppers, peppers and we have tomatoes we had just uh, one tomato, and uh, tomato maybe is the ingredient that completely changed the Italian uh, cuisine. Hard to imagine Italian cuisine without tomatoes. Before I met you, I really didn't think about potatoes as being part of Italian cuisine, but you've shown me gnocchi and pasta e patate and potato pizza. I just never really realized how integral potatoes are to Italian food. Cristoforo Colombo, thank you. Buon appetito. It reminds me of home. <laughs> that is a very Calabrian dish. This is Calabrian dish because it's, it's rich, spicy. It's spicy, <laughs> it's rich, it's creamy. It's very creamy. I think the, the starch of the potatoes and combined with the, the juices of the tomatoes really make this once again, another Italian dish that's extremely creamy without any sort of dairy or anything in it. And if I can suggest, uh, you can put this also in a two slices of very good Italian uh, bread. Take a slice of bread, put this, uh, another slice of bread in it because it's unbelievable good. It's also very simple to make. I could be wrong and please correct me down below in the comments if I am, but I can't really think of a North American dish that combines a starchy potato with a vegetable like peppers. I can't really think of anything, but it's a really great combination. Calabria rules here. So it's obvious that North American ingredients really changed Southern Italian cuisine, but what about Northern Italian food? America did a good job also for Northern Italian cuisine. Can you show me? Yes, sure. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> 
<laughs> Hello. Hi. Ciao. Ciao. <laughs>
To me, yes. <laughs> ah, well, good thing America exists or else we wouldn't have this delicious Nutella. Harper, don't forget that you, America, all has your name. That's right, Amerigo Vespucci. I'm gonna get it for this later, but that is disputed, I'll have you know. That is a disputed claim. We are not entirely sure that that's where the name America comes from. Just saying, just saying. Guys, write your comment and see who is right in between uh, me and him. Well, thanks for watching, guys. We hope you have a happy Columbus Day slash Indigenous Peoples Day. If you give any of these recipes a shot, let us know and tag us in a picture on Instagram at Pasta Grammar, especially the Nutella recipe. We're really curious if anyone can pull that off. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. We'll see you next time. Ciao. Ciao.